Like only Dodge can. Last year at the Slants EV Day, we told you the only way Dodge was going to get into this game is if we raised the game. If electrification actually electrified the brand, if it made our cars quicker, altogether faster, it could amplify our performance character. If we did that, then we had an obligation to bring it to you, to bring it to the market. The problem was the challenge for us to do that, it needed to look like a Dodge, sound like a Dodge, and drive like a Dodge. But nothing like that existed, and most thought it couldn't be done. But you would be amazed how creative designers and engineers can get when they see the industry is planning a half a trillion dollar party and they don't have a ticket. Now the product brief, I will say is simple, they won't. The product brief was simple. First, reimagine the most iconic muscle car ever. Then make it aerodynamic as possible. As slippery as a melted jelly bean, but make it look like it was chiseled out of granite. Package an EV powertrain that will outperform our current V8s? Yes, even our supercharged V8s. Oh wait, remember I said everyone wants UVs? So make it all weather capable with the utility of a big box store. A muscle car that can literally run the quarter mile, run to Costco, and outrun Darwin. Okay, I know that sounds damn near impossible. What we also knew was 1972. And after all the amazing stuff that Dodge had brought to the market in the last 10 years, there was no way we were walking away from this fight. We wanted to crash that party, and we sure as hell weren't showing up like everybody else. We needed to do it the Dodge way, with patents, innovations, features, and performance that would literally reverberate through the entire industry. Our engineers needed to invent nothing short of the future of Dodge, the muscle of tomorrow. This is the EV that you didn't see coming but you'll definitely hear it coming. Yeah. We just went all electric. Guilty as charged. But we still have our rights. The right to remain loud. The right to be irrational. The right to break form and push people's buttons. We have the right to dodge convention. Save them.
SRT Banshee. And because it's a Dodge Bev, it will be an assault and battery on convention. Like I said when we started, it's a very simple formula. Look like a Dodge, sound like a Dodge, drive like a Dodge. The first challenge was to make a muscle car aerodynamic. Now, lucky for us, we did this over 50 years ago. So successfully, in fact, that we were banned from racing. The original Charger Daytona was legendary for the way it pushed air around its nose cone and through its tail. This Daytona will be legendary for the R-Wing pass-through that you see here. Now, those of you in the know probably already spotted the Fratzog logo up front. That's a clue that we're doing something that only Dodge can do. And our patent lawyers will remind you all of that. <laughs> now, how about that R-Wing? It looks really cool, right? And the tie back to the Daytona NASCAR is great, but does it actually work? Is this the slipperiest car in the world? Nope. And that's okay, we don't care. We're willing to give up some range to look badass. But it's a huge leap forward from where we are today. Now, it's a concept, so I can't share with you the exact, num the exact numbers, but to put it into context, Think of the aero drag of the 1934 Airflow. This was the industry's first aero car. Then fast forward nearly 100 years to today's car, the wide body charger. The aero of today's car is 25% better than that car. Our target for this Daytona is to improve another 25% from today's car. That's 100 years of aero progress in a single generation. Not bad, and still badass. Next, it had to sound like a Dodge. The Charger Daytona isn't just going to be remembered because of the looks. It's going to be remembered because it's been amplified by its patented sound chamber. While other EVs are focused on keeping quiet, we amplified ours. <laughs> Thanks to the patented Fratsonic chambered exhaust, the output is going to be as visceral as those that came before it. 126 decibels of output. How loud is that? That's Hellcat loud. That's tower fly by spill your coffee loud. <laughs> this Bev exhaust guarantees that Dodge will never go quietly. I don't care if it's an EV. If it's a Dodge, it needs a loud pedal. And the Charger Daytona has the first one ever. But what you really want to know is can the Daytona do more than look good and wake up your neighbors. Can it perform like a true muscle car? Look, everybody knows EVs are fast. Even the boring ones are quick. The instantaneous torque is impossible to deny. But the visceral experience of a muscle car is more than that. It's more chainsaw than it is cordless drill. So we made sure that the driving experience will be marked with familiar Dodge attributes. The typical single-speed transmission in a BEV, super efficient. But we know that part of what makes a Dodge a Dodge is the way our power throws your shoulders into the seat back at shift points. So our engineers designed the new ERUP system. It is a multi-speed transmission with an electromechanical shifting experience that's pure Dodge. How unique? Yeah, that's also patented. At every opportunity, we use this new tech to make a muscle car a better muscle car. Now, you're all gonna ask me, so I'm gonna get it out of the way. What about the power? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you that yet. <laughs> but what I can tell you is it will share another very familiar Dodge exclusive, direct connection. The Charger Daytona will launch with three power levels all the way up to the 800 volt Banshee system. But we're also developing nine power levels through direct connection. You're gonna have nine total power levels on this car. And all of those power levels will come standard with our exclusive power shot push to pass system. Direct connection is also gonna allow our drivers to unlock the features that they want, like a slam mode, drift mode, drag mode, and yep, even a donut mode. And finally, Remember where I started, 
probably forgot already. No one wants cars because everyone is now used to the, it demands the utility and all other capability of the UV. Our designers and engineers raised the bar there as well. The Daytona is adaptable on the inside as well. The combination of the massive rear hatch, it's hard to tell it's there, but it's a massive rear hatch and folding flat seats make this Dodge EV play more like a Dodge UV. And with all wheel drive that has not just all weather capability, but increases performance substantially. Look, here's the facts. We didn't ask for the rules to change. We didn't want them to change, but they did. Now we can try to outrun them, but that would be a nine second pass straight into extinction. Or we can do what we did, read their rules, study their rules, find their gray areas, then unleash the banshee. Now trust me, this is not the EV that they want you to have. This is the way Dodge does EVs. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold for press photography.